Hi, today Ask F5 shows you how to configure SNMP access to the Big IP system. Enabling SNMP access to a Big IP system allows an SNMP management system to remotely monitor and manage a Big IP system's statistical data. By default, the Big IP system allows SNMP access from the local host 127.0.0.1 only. In order to allow remote SNMP access, you need to perform the following steps. 1. Configure access to the Big IP system SNMP agent from your remote systems. 2. Grant community access to V1 or V2C SNMP data, or grant user access to V3 SNMP data. Before beginning, gather the IP addresses or subnets of the remote systems that require access to the SNMP agent on the Big IP system. To configure access to the Big IP SNMP agent for your remote systems, log into the configuration utility. Go to System, SNMP, Agent, Configuration. In Client Allows List, for type, either select Host or Network depending on whether the IP address you specify is a host system or a subnet. For Address, enter either the IP address or network address for which the SNMP agent can accept requests. If you've selected Network for Mask, enter the NetMask. Select Add. Select Update. To better control access to SNMP data, you can assign an access level to an SNMP v1 or v2c community. To do so, log into the configuration utility. Go to System, SNMP, Agent, Access v1, v2c. Select Create. For type, enter IPv4 or IPv6. For community, enter the name of the SNMP community for which you are assigning an access level. For source, Select All or Use Select and enter the source IP address. For OID, enter the OID for the topmost node of the SNMP tree in which access applies. For Access, select an access level, either Read Only or Read Write. Select Finished. Note, when a community or user is assigned Read Write access but a specific data object is Read Only, the object remains Read Only. In case of conflict, the most secure access level takes precedence. To better control access to SNMP data, you can assign an access level to an SNMP v3 user. To do so, log into the configuration utility. Go to System, SNMP, Agent, Access v3. Select Create. For username, enter the name of the user for which you are assigning an access level. In Authentication, for type, select a type of authentication to use and then enter and confirm the user password. In Privacy, for Protocol, select a Privacy Protocol and either enter and confirm the user password or select the Use Authentication Password checkbox. For OID, enter the OID for the topmost node of the SNMP tree to which the access applies. For Access, select an access level, Read Only, or Read Write. Select Finished. Note, if a user has read-write access but a specific data object is read-only, the object remains read-only. The most secure access level always takes precedence. When complete, sync the SNMP configuration changes to the HA peer or peers. To learn how to do so, refer to this video article or this article linked below. And that's it. If you have questions or comments, please send us an email. Thank you for watching.